So why does GW School of Medicine focus on public health and how can you use that to your advantage to get into GW? What is up and good morning YouTube. For those of you that are new here, my name is Jason Krasian and I'm a first year medical student here at GW School of Medicine. And now I want to talk to you guys why GW focuses on public health, mainly because I always bring it up, but I never really talk about it. So today we have some public health courses uh, later on and so might as well bring you guys along for the ride. But as you guys already know, I started the day off with my morning coffee and then straight into Anki cards today. I got a lot and I have a lot more to unlock. So it's gonna be a lot of Anki, a lot of public health. So thought why not take you guys along with me for the day. So let's get right into it. As I've said, we are in our cardio block, so we're learning everything that we can about the heart. Exam in two weeks, so kind of stressing, kind of nervous. It's so much information. It's such a very dense topic that we're covering right now. So, you know, I'm doing the little things to help out. So one of the things I did was I wrote out on my little glass desktop uh, some things that I want to focus on, some things that for whatever reason aren't sticking. So whether it be the orientation of all of the leads and what those read as well as uh, the different phases of the cardiac cycle I'm trying to do the little things so that way it sticks better in my brain but done a lot of cards getting very tired looking at a screen so let's get some food and then i think it's time to hit the gym all right so as i'm about to devour breakfast here the typical oatmeal um just want to let you guys just want to talk about the fact that I'm trying to switch up how I'm doing my Anki card. So I used to just do all whatever hundreds of them in one sitting. Now I want to break it up because I feel like as I go further on within the whole hundreds of doing Anki cards, my brain no longer paying attention and all I'm doing is just smashing space bar. So now I want to switch it up, do a few hundred, take a break. So have food, take another, do a few more hundred, take a break, probably go to the gym, and then just keep switching it up like that. So that's the plan moving forward. All right, friends, let's go lift some heavy weights and give ourselves a break from hitting space bar over and over again. So let's get into it. And just like that, rent has been paid. Now let's uh, go head downstairs, get a quick protein shake in, and then discuss the main topic of the video. All right, protein shake in hand, all showered up and clean. So I wanna talk about the main focus of today's video, and that's the idea of why does GW emphasize public health? And I think the best way to describe it is to describe GW's curriculum as a whole. So. In essence, I would say that we have three courses. So it's first like the didactics of learning different organ systems in, in the blocks and learning it all together. So next would be the practice of medicine. So that's little things like, you know, an EKG lab or whether it's practicing physical maneuvers or discussing clinical scenarios and how do we best kind of go about it and what do we need to do, look out for, and, and so on. And then the third, and I think one of the more unique parts of GW is our PPS course. Now, I don't know what PPS stands for. So let's go to Dr. Google, find the answer. All right, so let's see what Dr. Google has to say. Now, let's see, how do I, okay, this will be easy. GW School of Medicine and PPS. Okay, so you guys can search this up just as well. And so PBS stands for Patients, Populations, and Systems Course. And so we can just read off the text right here, and it's to help deliver excellent patient care in the 21st century health systems. And so it's 
in essence, learning more about public health so that way we can be better advocates for patients and for the future. So the big thing is it's separated out into three semesters of PPS, and that's our preclinical years. So in semester one, uh, let's see, what do we focus on? Stuff about U.S. healthcare delivery, health insurance, um, health systems, law and health. And so that's just semester one. So we just finished that. Now we're in semester two. Semester two is more similar concepts, but this one is more focused on on the patients in health systems, uh, as it's denoted here. So right now we're focusing more so on evidence-based medicine. Um, and then I'll take you guys to two of the classes that we have later tonight, which are the evidence-based medicine courses or the session series that they have labeled here. And then next semester, so in the upcoming fall, we'll be covering applied population health. So social determinants of health, adverse childhood experiences, climate change and global health. And so, because GW has this big emphasis on public health, that's what you guys as future med school applicants or you know whether you wanna integrate it into your own med school curriculum and help advocate for it, is to see how you can bring forward and emphasize that in yourself. So I think one of the main reasons why I was accepted into GW was because of my background in serving at a free clinic back home. I was there for almost seven years. I was there through high school and through all of college. And now I think that's one of the things that helped me stand out in my application. So again, for you guys that are applying in this upcoming cycle, we're in February right now. Applications are going to be due around May. So get working on all the primary stuff and even start thinking about secondaries. And so with that, if you really want to end up at GW, try to find a way to emphasize public health in your past experience and make it as a centerpiece of your whole personal statement and activity section. And so those of you guys who are applying right now, that's something that you need to focus on. But if you're, let's say, a freshman in undergrad or even just in high school, now's the perfect time to get more experience in public health if GW is a place that you want to go to. So that is, you know, one of the unique things of GW. And I think one of the important parts is of it is. So like I've talked about previously, we've had our public health care summit. So we've had an HIV summit where we had Dr. Fauci come and speak to us. Um, and then this past month, we had our asthma summit with innovative and op-ed pieces to describe how would we help alleviate asthma in Southeast DC. And so it's little things like that that help GW stand out. And so how do you stand out in the eyes of GW? It's to emphasize your public health experience. So I'm gonna enjoy my protein shake and then get back to Anki and preparing for the classes later today. All right, so I really need to get back into my Anki cards. I did 300 cards this morning, and I still have 482 to go. And there's more to unlock. This is going to be miserable before I have to go to class. Again, my brain is just being absolutely fried going through these Anki cards. So I'm going to give myself a quick break. Um, writing up a few emails. One of the emails that I need to send out to a few different people actually is not an acceptance email to GW, but a almost come to GW email. So uh, it's almost time for second look events where students who have been accepted can come take a second look at GW and that way they can realize that they do or do not want to come here. So it's going to send out a few emails to these lucky students who have been accepted to GW and hopefully I'll be seeing them next year. So Time to write up some emails that I need to get done. Yeah. All right, so I just sent out the three emails to the three prospective students who um, got accepted to GW. So again, congratulations to you guys. Um, but Jacob, Kevin, and Sam, if you guys are somehow seeing this, I hope to see you guys next fall and uh, reach out with any questions. And if I didn't email you, but you were accepted to GW, you guys are more than welcome to uh, comment down below and let me know. And then probably the easiest way to contact me is to go to my Instagram. Again, link will be in the description in the bio. Uh, just go there, send me a DM, and I'd be happy to answer any questions. All right, finally done with Anki cards for now. Still have some more to unlock and go through. I think we're close to 900 
for the day, which is just miserable. But time to go to class before we're running late. We're gonna be covering the overall importance and practice of diagnostic testing. So off to school we go. beautiful day out. Really don't want to be sitting in class, but uh, yeah, let's go learn about some public health. class again covering more public health this time a little bit more so focused on when we give a pretest and post test probability of a patient coming in with a diagnosis and how do we best go about it um, what we should be looking out for and so on so again like I'm going to reiterate big thing about GW is the public health emphasis so find a way to make that stand out for your own application and hopefully that works out for you I'm just gonna relax grab some more food and then Continue on with more lectures that I need to catch up on. All right, friends. Well, took you through a day in the life of a GWU medical student and a day in which we particularly focused on public health because that's a unique aspect of GW that a lot of other medical schools don't really put the emphasis on. Now, today wasn't necessarily a typical topic in public health because we're more so focusing in on literature, probabilities of diseases, and pre-test, post-test probabilities and whatnot. But again, important in public health nonetheless. Uh, and so with that being said, I wanna wrap up the video here. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, and this week's challenge, I'm not really gonna call it a challenge. Why is it that buses always wanna drive past? Anyways, for this week, uh, leave a comment down below and let me know how your day is. Because for me today, the day of filming this, it's been absolutely brutal. I have so much work still to do. It's already late and the grind never stops. So leave a comment down below. Let me know how your day was. Let's get a, let's see if it was good, eh, or bad. So again, leave a comment down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I was going to embark on the journey, MD in the making. Hey.